Hey, good Sunday afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a good one here, just kind of catching up tomorrow. and The next couple of days are going to be big news days. Uh, for the Dallas Cowboys, not that every day isn't a big news day. Uh, we're hearing that the AT&T Stadium is going to be renamed for this summer for the uh, World Cup soccer because I believe AT&T has nine matches more than any other place in the United States. So, you know, Jerry Jones will be basking in that and getting some more money. In the meantime, between now and then, we're going to be rebuilding a team or adding pieces to a team. And Jerry Jones, uh, Michael's over there laughing. Come on, Mike. Hey, come on. Why, why you got to be laughing at, at Jerry Jones? Huh? We don't do nothing in the playoffs. So we don't do nothing in the offseason. Every offseason, okay, uh, you know what? Basically, playoffs and offseason are the same thing. We don't do anything. That's true. That's true. And not, not anything of, of consequence. We're there, but we don't do anything. We don't have any major news and stuff, but this is another case right now where Derrick Henry to the Cowboys seems to be picking up steam everywhere but with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, we've heard Swagoo saying, you know, I'd like to see you with the star on the side of his helmet and everything else. Um, we know that he, of course, his contract is up with the um, Tennessee Titans. He had uh, over 1,100 yards last year and averaged 4.2 yards a carry on a team that was vertically challenged at passing the football and a very bad team. So he probably still has some in the tank, but I don't know how much he has. I'll be honest with you. This could be the Eddie George type signing where Eddie George was just spent. However, I might be happy that the Cowboys at least tried something. Because what we have done the last couple of years is we keep thinking that we're going to get better by getting rid of people. I don't know if you guys realize this, but the Cowboys looked through and they said, you know what, Zeke Elliott, he ended up getting half of our rushing yards. We're going to get rid of that guy and we're not going to replace him with anybody except we believe in our, our own guys. And we ended up doing the same thing the year before with Amari Cooper. We ended up saying, you know, Amari Cooper, Cedric Wilson, we believe in our guys, as in Michael Gallup and Noah Brown. And those things didn't really work out real well for us. So I want to play this clip from the Rich Eisen Show, which has Taylor Luan uh, talking about Derrick Henry and his conversation. Let's go to the tape. Now, Derek's going to be moving on elsewhere, I'm assuming. And I was saying yesterday, if Jerry Jones says, let's, we're going all in this year and we're going to go all in with players that we don't normally go all in with, that's the guy. That would be the guy, right? I mean, do you have any yes. idea what Derek Henry's plans are at all, Taylor? Do you get any sense of that? Around well, first, first, I want to say thank you for watching the show. I appreciate that. The second thing is during that episode... <laughs> yes. Yes. During that episode, Derek did say, like, he's like, you know, he's, he believes he's got some, some great ball left in him. Yeah. He has no, no thought process of, of, you know, retiring and walking away from the game. To me, I mean, he's going to, he needs to go to a team that he believes in his heart of hearts that has an opportunity to win the Super Bowl. And, and so I don't see him going to like a Chiefs or a Niners because the Niners got McCaffrey and the Chiefs don't really run the ball like that. I think mm -hmm. the, the Dallas Cowboys. He, he, he works out in Dallas in the off season. Like that's where he goes. That's where he trains from right now until OTA start. That's where he will be at. That's an easy landing spot for Derek with a offensive line with guys like Zach Martin on there. I know they get a little banged up here and there, but he would have, I mean, could you imagine yeah. a star on the side of Derek Henry's head? How awesome that would be. That would be electric. That would be electric. That would be interesting, especially it. And see, here's the thing about, I don't know what Derrick Henry is going to cost you. Um, I would imagine with the devaluation of running backs and knowing that Derrick Henry actually has a house in Dallas, he trains there in Dallas in the off season that, you know, maybe you get a home team discount because I don't have to get a house elsewhere. And if you were to get, cause see, this is what you have to think about. The money you spend with getting somebody in free agency, and this is where you got to understand the difference. 
if you end up going out and you get Derrick Henry, and let's say it's a six or seven million dollar deal, don't look at it as we got to pay a veteran running back at seven million dollars. What you look at this as is I not only get a running back who is proven, who can be a bruiser, but I can also save a draft pick to develop someplace else. Maybe you were looking at a, you know, we don't have a fourth round pick, a, a fifth round pick or a third round pick for a running back. You're not going to get production out of a young guy like that, that late in the draft. You're not. And you're not going to spend a number one on him. But if you're talking about out the box getting a guy that's a thousand yard rusher, short yardage guy, that is a back, that is a pick that you can use elsewhere to plug another hole. So it's not just getting Derrick Henry, it's getting Derrick Henry and you say, okay, I don't have to worry about that spot right now. I can focus in on something else. If you draft another guy at running back or two late in the draft, that's less holes that you can fill in. And there's no guarantee that they're going to be able to run the way Derrick Henry can. So we'll see what all this is. And this is where if the Cowboys end up signing, you know, a Derrick Henry, they restructure Dak Prescott's, they end up getting some cash and are ready to make some moves. Then you can actually feel like maybe Jerry Jones is actually all in. If this is another case, and we've had players, so don't don't get too excited about the prospect. We've had players that have wanted to come to the Cowboys, but the Cowboys don't pick up the call, pick up the phone to make the call. We had Von Miller when he left the Rams was like, yo, Cowboys. You know, we had Hopkins, yo, Cowboys. We had Bobby Wagner, yo, Cowboys. These guys wanted to play here in Dallas, but the Cowboys never, most for the most part, never even picked up the phone or were never actually serious about making a, a, a play for those players. And we also had heard from a former employee that was talking about, you know, all of the phones were all piped in together to the cameras and things. And allegedly the Detroit lions called the Cowboys during the draft and talked to Steven Jones and wanted to make a trade for one of their players. We believe that it might've been Deandre Swift. And when he was asked about it, okay, we don't know for sure, but we're assuming that that was the player um, because they did turn around a few minutes later and trade him to the Eagles. He basically said, who, who I'll get back to you and then didn't talk to anybody else about it. So for me, if you didn't know who the player was and you didn't at least discuss it with everybody else, you are literally it's malpractice. How could you not say something, say, you know, what do we know about this guy? It, it, even if you don't want to make that play, you say, hey, you know, the Lions are calling us about such as a, you might turn around and say, well, okay, they want to trade that guy, but maybe we might think about one of their other players or something. You've got an in with them wanting to do something. See what you can find out that you can do. All right, good people. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Peace.